Hi everybody, this is Groove Sim, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Battlefield 4 Campaign. As I said, I am Groove Sim, this is episode 10, Singapore Airfield. We just, uh, remember in the last episode, we were on the overpass or the bridge, and uh, we got pinned by a car, and uh, we got rescued, and we're picking up where we left off. Oh, feels good to be out of the storm. Fire the flare and get out. We can do this. Hell yes, we can. Because we're professionals. How long have you guys worked together? Irish and Wrecker go way back. And Dunn. He was a squad leader. I've been around about a year. What happened to Dunn? The seat took him. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I like Hannah. In fact, I, I'm falling in love with her. I just wanted to share that. I love her so much. Time to swap some weapons out. And here we go. Grabbing... What, what am I grabbing here? Am I going to need a javelin? That's what I'm asking myself. We're indoors. I don't think I'm going to need a, a javelin. So I, I grabbed the... What is it called? The Starburst? Or <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell it's called. Preview screen is small. I can't read it. But I do know it's... It, it fires an air burst it kind of around. It also has uh, heat... Or heat vision goggles? Or, or heat vision scope on it, I should say. So I can pick, pick up heat signatures of the enemies, target them. All right, kind of a functified transition cut right there. I, I should have been firing instead of throwing an aid at that guy. <laughs> it's like I was I, I, I went to the doorway with the mindset I was I was gonna toss an aid out there and uh you know how it is. Instead of switching to my weapon I just throw the nade anyway. It's raining grenades, hallelujah. I'll tell you why I'm clicking engage, you know, instead of bringing up the, uh, the... Wait, what are they called? The goggles? Uh, or the visor, or... Or, you know... Binoculars, binoculars. Uh, what are they called? Uh, they can mark all the targets and everything. It's a pain in the ass. That's 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 what I'm trying to say. It's a pain in the ass to bring that up every time. So I just keep jamming the the engage button, the RB. Just jam it, jam it, jam it, jam it. Pick up the targets mainly for my benefit, not theirs. I tell them to engage for the hell of it, and they actually do on occasion engage and. 
to take enemies out. So they're helpful sometimes. But mainly, like I've already well established, I mainly rely on me. Nailed one, he says. No, it's more like a dozen. Just throwing an A for the hell of it. So I'm going back to get some, uh, to get a restock. Why not? Even though there are plenty of uh, weapon boxes up ahead. I don't know how many enemies there are yet. See, but there's one guy, one guy, and I'm thinking, you know, I had this weird notion right there. I lost my mind. Like, oh, they'll pick him up, my teammates. Oh, wait. Then I remembered, hang on, let me go take care of this fool. You're not but, fucking charge, Hannah. What's your problem, Irish? Come on, guys, across here. What? You think you can't trust me? You call me a liar? I've done nothing to you. Exactly, Hannah. You've done nothing for me. Where I come from, trust is earned. <laughs> Irish man, he's so emotional, you know? He's fiery. And then Pac, you know, he's the guy that tries to keep together. Hannah, she's she's fine. She's fine looking, you know. All she, all she has to do is just be beautiful. <laughs> you, need you need to engage. Here we go, big fight. Just boom. They're here! I was very dis- Oh man, I blew the shit out of that, that plane right there. Uh, I was very disappointed I didn't get a big multi-kill there. Hannah, she said, holla. Holla back at you. Get out of there. Get out. I, I'm telling you, man, they are nade happy over there. Just nades raining in from every direction. Oh boy, you see what I'm talking about? I mean, just every time I turn around, there's a day dropping in on me. Almost bought it right here. Because, because you know, you have to keep reminding your squad mates to fire their weapons. Kind of dope. Kind of lame. But uh, I'm not gonna bitch about it anymore. <laughs> At least for now. You got it. Ouch. Well, you know, instead of telling me you're ready, just fire your damn weapon. Oh god, that didn't last long, did it? Me not, me not complaining. <laughs> the 
ready. What should I do? Oh, uh, pull the trigger. Aim your weapon. Pull the trigger. Freaking hell, what the hell was Dice thinking with this? Really? I know this is like, hey, welcome to 2013, Battlefield 4. You, you gotta realize, I, I just picked up this game in January and just started playing it this month. Uh, it, it just sat there on my hard drive. And it, it, I picked it up because it's in the EA Access Vault. And, uh,. You know, I have EA Access, EA Access, which is a good, it's a good bargain, you know, um, for me. And so this has been sitting on my hard drive, and I was never, like, you know, even for the 360 it was out, and I was just not really keen on it, but it's part of EA Access. It's practically free, you know, um, why not play it? So, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but, it, it, this, is, this is the kind of game that it, it'll suffice. You know what I mean? It will suffice. There's, uh, it fills that action need for me. But at the same time, it's also the kind of game that I'm going to pick apart. All the way through. All the way through. I wouldn't spend money on it, necessarily. I mean, for the campaign. Now, I'm speaking strictly campaign, not including multiplayer. I'm not including conquest and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Which is why the vast majority of people own Battlefield 4, I, I assume, um, you know, the multiplayer. Uh, I'm, I'm strictly talking about the campaign and uh, being very critical of DICE and the campaign. Uh, it's not a bad game, but there are bad things about it, okay? I like the music, you know? It's not overpowering or overbearing. The soundtrack's just right. And there are things to like. There are things to like about the game. But there's so much that kind of holds it back from just being mediocre in, in terms of the campaign again. Um, Mediocre at best, maybe slightly above mediocre is is the best I can say about it. Um, but again, it suffices. It kind of fills a, a need or a want, you know, for some action. Now what? I mean, how many times is she going to ask me that? Okay, Tom, shut up about it. All right, so we're going to finish these dudes off. This took longer. I'm watching this. I actually could have swept through here a lot faster than I did. But, you know, their bullets, they definitely hurt. So it's not like, you know, we're impenetrable or bulletproof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. Give me a sec, Rick. Pop it in the fresh bag. Watch yourself. You, you, you hear me jamming on the RB? Jam, 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 jam. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just trying to pick up enemies. I know they're down there. What? 
Just... Oh, boy. No problem, Wrecker! Whoa, 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 look at this fool. He just goes running by... <laughs> They got tired of waiting for me. They're like, hey, he's taking too long. Let's go to him. What's this, Sergeant? Okay, Wrecker! And once in a while, the R3 click happens, you know, because R3 for me, depending on if you use default, I think I've used it default, is uh, melee and. Uh, Every once in a while, I accidentally R3 click. That's kind of common for me in shooters, dating back to the original Xbox. Um, <laughs> see a lot of accidental R3 clicks in Halo games like that. It's frustrating. It's annoying. That was never gonna work firing through the catwalk. Clear! Move your asses. So finally, uh, we have this clear again. I, I know it probably took a little longer than it needed to, but we're 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 clear. Open the gate, Wrecker. Yeah, yeah. They need me to open this gate. They've opened. Uh, enough doors and gates themselves they can handle it but I guess the devs want to give me time to look around if I want to you know I guess I don't know Come on. Open it. and I, I, I look around a little bit for dog tags but I realize this is a huge hangar and there is no way I'm going to search every nook and cranny for dog tags and I, I probably how many Oh, 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 they'll be talking to me like that, Irish. Uh, yeah, I'm shooting him right now. He pissed me off right there, so I'm trying to shoot him. <laughs> That's exactly what was happening there. I thought about throwing a nade in on him, too. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the dog tags. Uh, this is, see, we started in Baku. We went to Sh uh, Shanghai next, right? Then we went out on the South China Sea. We're now in Singapore. And in this entire time, I may have picked up three, maybe four dog tags total. And maybe two or three, you know, weapon collectibles the entire time so I guess my point is there is no absolutely no reason for me to look, be looking for dog tags or anything now because I, I miss so many it's, it's academic it doesn't matter and I actually ran all the way I should have edited this part out I didn't realize I didn't realize I ran all the way back And, and you know now that now that I recall playing this was this was a few days ago. I remember I was gonna go up to the door, but then when Irish talked to me the way he did, I said, "Screw it, man! You 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 all can wait." Go 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 go! And to start the fucking car. What are you trying to do? Sabotage again? Come on, come on! The fuck are you doing? Here they come! Go drive, drive! Get ready, let go!
Man, this thing heats up fast. Folks, we are coming to the end of this video. Episode 10 is just about done and dusted. I'm going to say, see you in episode 11. We're going to prison. That's all I'll say about it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay groovy. Pack. Wake up, goddammit! Pack! Don't you fucking do this! Come on, damn it! Pack! Come on, Tajra! We'll drive out Tavala! What the fuck? You fucking! We are about to die. He's dead. Let's go. Sorry, Rucker. Couldn't be any other way. <laughs> 22 Marines were killed in the assault. There's not enough resources to care for all of our wounded. Chang control waters may be behind us, Doctor, but this ain't over. We need everyone alive and combat ready. And Tombstone, sir? They're not among the dead. Ah, fuck. All right, okay. What else? I mean, if they are captured, what are the chances they're going to come back? Well, shit. I mean, if it's Chang who's got them, I don't... I don't think we'll ever see him again. Oh, the fire got there. Ah!